Hi, I'm Cik Gudila and today we will learn something special. What is the topic? Look, what is that? That is an elephant. That is rhinoceros. Hmm, can you guess the topic for our lessons today? Let us talk. Cat and also a cow. Yes, that means our topic today is about animals. This is chapter 3, year 4, KSSR syllabus. So like humans, animals take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide and water vapor when they are breathed. But before I proceed, make sure you like and subscribe my video. Okay, let's proceed. In this topic, you will learn the breathing organs of animals. There are several types of breathing organs of animals. The first is lung. Usually, most land animals breathe through their lungs. As for example, we have an elephant, birds, bat, monkeys, snakes also breathe through lungs. We have cow and porcupine. Can you name some of other animals that breathe through lungs? Ah, I'm sure you can. Next, we move to the other breathing organs. Mm, no. Remember, there are some aquatic animals that also breathe using lung. What is it? Let's see. For example, dolphin. Dolphin also breathe through their lung, even though dolphins live in the water. Same goes like a crocodile, whale, and also a penguin. But platypus and last turtles. Okay. Next. Our next breathing organ is book lungs. Hmm. What are the difference between book lungs and normal lungs? Okay. Book lungs are book like breathing organs. It's long, but the shape it moves almost like a book. Let's see how is it look like. So the animals that breathe through book lungs, which is spider. Let's see how is it look like. So here we have the book lungs. The book lungs of a of a spider. Instead of spider, scorpions also breathe through a book lungs. This is some additional info from your textbook. Okay, next, we move to the breathing organs, where we call as gills. Ah, most animals that live in water breathe through gills. For example, we have stingray, shark, fish, crab, and also a tadpole. What else? Hmm, we also can have a jellyfish. We can have... Octopus, ah, all that animals breathe through their lungs and most of that animals live in the water. So we can call that they are an aquatic animal. The next breathing organ is spiracle. Usually, animals that breathe through spiracles are insects. So what is spiracle? Spiracle is a tiny paw found at the abdomen. Ah. And the air enters the spiracles and carry to the cell through a trachea, which are the tiny air tube that branch out to the whole body. What is the example? Let's see. We have an ant, mantis, cockroach, grasshopper, and also butterfly. We have another one. Yes, we have caterpillar. Next, we have the breathing organs of animals, which is moist skin. Moist skin? Hmm. What is moist skin? Okay. How they breathe through moist skin? Oxygen diffuses into the body of animals through their moist skin and thin skin. As for example, 
like the snail, leech, and also earthworm. There are also animals that can breathe through two different breathing organs, which is lung and also skin. What is the animals? Okay, so animals can have more than one breathing organ. This animal breathe through their lungs and skin. Some, this animal can live on land and also in water. For example, this is the most common one, which is frog, newt, salamander, and also a toad. Okay, I think that's it for our class today. So thank you for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.